somebody from the Friday Night Kids subreddit big up that sub. It's now approaching how many homeless cats? It's approaching close to ninety to hundred thousand homeless cats on this at the moment. Ninety five thousand and sixty people on that flipping subreddit laughing and joking about various things and somebody took a clip in this close-up image of brendan schaub during the ufc 280 watch along thing that he did kind of versus fight club whatever a uh, comedy club that he was at and yo this is a frightening sight and if anything this might be confirmation that brendan might have overtook burt kreischer when it comes to having one of the worst faces one of the worst kind of representations of like, you know, alcohol induced face you've ever seen. Cause I thought Burt Kreischer was bad, especially with his, I think Burt Kreischer, if I'm not mistaken, has also a skin condition on his face that kind of doesn't help. It makes him look worse. He's got all this kind of weird readiness on his um, cheeks as well. And I think that obviously probably doesn't, it gets probably worse when he drinks and whatnot. Um, it just looks completely horrible. But Brendan here legitimately looks like he's aged a million years over the, you know, of, with the course of drinking. He's got bags under his eyes, clearly probably not getting the best amount of sleep. And he just looks really weathered, like really, really weathered. Like his face is in need of a good face. He's, he's in need of a good facial. He's in need of some not moisturizer or something to kind of reawaken that fucking face. But it's just horrendous what he looks like. And even when he's speaking, it looks probably worse, actually, when his face is actually in motion anything like it he just he hasn't adapted that like the the bigger the stage he kind of shuts down a little bit so there's something to be said about that yeah i wonder as well have, have any of you guys ever experienced somebody who has done this like brendan have any of you got experienced somebody who has started drinking heavily late in life because i've not really seen that in real time because anybody that i know uh, eric see yeah, here because <laughs> big up brother um everybody that i know who's kind of um into sports especially the kids that i grew up with even if they didn't make it the ones who grew up, grew up with who are really um into sports and played it professionally or semi-professionally even if they did go off the rails a little bit they always had that ground or that foundation of being a sportsman or woman and they generally didn't go too far off those rails and if they didn't you know if they weren't a big drinker or if they avoided carbs or whatever, or if they went to the gym every day, they just maybe kept it up, maybe doing three times a day or whatever, but they had some level of consistency in that kind of stuff. But it feels like for Brendan, as soon as the flipping athletic stuff didn't work out and he pivoted into being a full-time podcaster and stand-up comedian, he let go of absolutely everything to the point where now he's just like a, he's more of an average everyday guy than he is of a former you know professional athlete especially in the in the space of ufc in terms of being a legit heavyweight and shit you don't really think of him as that anymore you think of him more as a comedian as a podcaster but he's starting to look like one now you don't, you don't even look at him and think oh that was that guy ever playing professional sports unless you maybe you see him and you think how tall he is but you don't necessarily see it that way and i think in my opinion it's way more of a losery thing in general to start drinking at that age as opposed to drinking really early like if it you know i've got loads of friends who grew up in like really small towns and they had nothing to do and they decided to just be drinking themselves into a flipping stupor and just you know to black to black out and to kind of forget about you know the everyday life and whatnot or to make to make just a day go by quick or to have fun and they drank you know i had people who told me they were drinking and taking pills and doing coke when they were like 13 14 years old and then you get older and you either continue that addiction or you just kind of get put off it because you've been exposed to it so young. But having somebody start drinking heavily in their mid thirties just seems a little bit R worded. It seems like the lamest thing you could ever do, especially when you have two kids and a legit wife at home. It just seems like what you got other things you'd be worrying about day to day. And of course it's horrible because at this age, there's no give you have no wiggle room it shows up in your face in your skin color in your skin condition you look haggard you're horrible to couple that with the coffee and the lack of sleep and the stress and the ninety-five thousand homeless cats and stuff and the cancellation or and the drama with annie all that stuff is probably all showing in his face but he looks wild man he looks insane face wise like horrendous he's even got that glassy sort of look in his eye like he's not really there his breath must smell absolutely rancid like literally only drinking coffee and drinking whiskey and 
eating fucking fast, you know, food truck diary stuff, like day to day, like horrendous. But like I said, it's just an interesting place to look to be at when you used to be a professional athlete. I can't imagine ever getting to that point because you have such good, um, what you call it? You have such good habits already that you can kind of tap into and a framework of things that you can do and uh, resources that you can kind of pull from. Why let yourself go to that extent? It doesn't make any sense. And the funny thing is, he was always regarded at the time he was, but he was always regarded as like the handsome comic, right? The good looking one, the former jock. That's why everyone hates him. All this sort of stuff. He can steal your girl, but I don't know. If, and if he stole anyone's girl or if he stole your girl, you should be upset. If somebody that looks like that, who clearly hasn't moisturized in 17 years and looks like, you know, you might cut your finger if you run your fucking, you might cut your finger if you run it, you know, uh, run it against his fucking face it's like a brillo pad you'd be upset you should be upset but it's a bit self-inflicted because you know for whatever reason he decided to go super super ott when it comes to the booze and shit and to the point where he started drinking in his mid-30s and then suddenly developed a love for whiskey and put out his own flipping whiskey bottle which is a little bit you know over the top as well in that regard but god damn it man he looks absolutely horrendous like literally horrendous um but you know i guess he probably likes that look you never know these guys have a weird penchant for the weirdness that exists out there moving on we have this clip here oh no, actually let me talk right quickly what you guys said did you guys answer my email my thing uh she'll probably watch his looks like he got stung by bees eric c said she probably looks like stolen after the botox snap pick exactly tyler says he's just mushing all the pressure down and pouring alcohol over exactly cloud k20 says remember that shawb looked fit and vibrant yeah i'm actually gonna get that picture up actually let's see um brendan shawb let's do not see if it fit let's do brendan shawb 2015 or 2016 actually let's do 2016 because he actually looked pretty good at one point and then it all went to fucking shit somehow yeah this is it this is when he actually looked pretty decent and i'm assuming this is also when he st when he was into keto and he called himself the keto kid that like, he legitimately was a good looking dude like no homo like he looked absolutely good like for especially for a comedian he looked after himself well he clearly looked like he was getting facials and doing his face and people allege this might have been the area that he was doing stuff like lip fillers and stuff but he legitimately was a good looking guy like this picture here of this dude like that guy there that's a that's a fit and in shape looking guy because i know having lost a bunch of weight and then you know this you know you, your whole wardrobe changes and you get loads of flipping self-confidence you don't wear those kind of shirts unless you know you are looking good you don't wear those kind of shirts unless you know underneath that t-shirt you've got a situation happening it's not some fake thing you know for sure that that situation down below is looking absolutely tight and you can see that era back then you know number one he was friends with nate diaz still nate diaz wasn't giving the middle finger and thought he was cool and he also legitimately looked like he did sit-ups he was running he was doing pull-ups and stuff with good form he looks actually legitimately good here no excuses no nothing even with his head starting out to make himself look like a badass he definitely looks good so you can't deny that and it got you know and there's some good pictures here look at that he's running he's running around topless and shit like his park and clearly looking good and this is the era where he also had the dyed hair when it was white because he went to work on E. That didn't work out because he's terrible at presenting. Um, let's go forward and do this. Let's do 2017 and see what he looked like. Maybe it starts to go down here now. Maybe it starts to go a little bit down here from now on. Another picture of him like out and about that might give some indication of what he was starting to kind of go towards in terms of a look, but still. I think looking like he definitely does run. So if he's someone this if this guy here told you that he was running five miles a day, you definitely believe him, right? He looks like he runs five miles a day, it looks like he eats well and all that stuff. Let's go then to twenty eighteen, see what he says. Oh look, see. Um this is when is it twenty seventeen when um or twenty sixteen when or twenty seventeen, sorry, when uh, Connor fought flipping Floyd. Maybe it was. That's why I got that picture of them over there. Let's continue twenty eighteen. Is it complete? And cat fund monies. Cheers. <laughs> big up, big up, big up. Big up Austin Casey for the twenty dollar donation. I appreciate you. B and cat fund monies. Cheers. Oh for sure. Big up. We're gonna go Sizzler. We're gonna go Sizzler on the fucking first of flipping November. I'm i I'm I'm tempted to do a stream 
and get absolutely blasted on the stream but i don't feel sure if that'd be a good idea i might get reported and my channel might get taken down but i'm thinking about it i am thinking about it but big up you think thank you so much anthony austin casey sorry i do appreciate you brother thank you the 2018 version of Shaw also looks fit and ready to go he was at the grammys pre-show mate could you imagine brendan ever being invited to a grammys pre-show now and this era never in the slightest right even this picture here i'm an impulsive they actually look like they might be friends back then they were actually cool right they were actually together in one respect uh but let's look at 2019 i want to point where it maybe decided to go down here with the drinking and shit when was it because now you can't keep up yeah this might be in it 2019 might be when they started to go down here 2019 looks like it might be the time because look that's when suddenly he starts to be the guy that has a tumbler in his hand like you know I mean that that becomes his personality and shit going forward so that might have been the time actually and was that when fucking you'd be surprised came out i think so yeah that might be around the time look at that he met drake back then oh yeah true take a shot of tiger fic if i can find tiger fic in the uk i'll definitely take a shot of it i'm not going to lie um i'm not going to lie let's continue one more to 2020 and see what he looked like then and then we can move on 2020 yeah for sure it was around this time 2019 2020 is when he started to go down here appearance wise because he's obviously starting to get on the booze and not running around as much as he said he was running around so you know cautionary tale for those of you alcoholics out there to just maybe chill out and take it easy and not go too crazy because you too you too you too could end up looking like mr shaw if you're not careful you know what i mean you can end up looking like him look at that look at that that's nuts that is absolutely nuts and look at that the difference between that and that you can't really separate those can you absolutely crazy absolutely crazy <laughs>